Okay guys, here's my last box. I thought I had one more, but I started to open it and I realized that it was just my candle order. Um, I ran out of coach candles um, and I need to, needed to get some more and I'm, I'm sure y'all didn't want to look at a bunch of candles because they're just plain coach candles. So, okay guys. <clears throat> So this is my last one right here, and this is from Moon's Harvest, and this is some of her Valentine's balms. Um, and I'm sorry, you all, I'm moving around here a little bit. I'm, I've sat here in the floor for a while, and I've been up running all night, and I'm not as young as I used to be, and my poor old knee is bothering me. So, don't mind me wiggling and squiggling around here. Okay, so. Back to the task at hand. Moon's Harvest. These are her spring, I think, uh, more Valentine balms. So I'll say spring slash Valentine balms. So, and it's in a different box than what I usually get, but that may be because I didn't place as big of an order as I usually get from her. That's okay, but I will have to say I do miss cutting open the top of that box and seeing the little logo on top. <laughs> and of course, that may have been on the other end, and I just cut the wrong end of the box open. So, here is our first one. And this one is called Moonstruck. This one has a cocoa butter bath melt on top. See, that's how I know right there. <laughs> oh, they have a sticker over it, but look, it says, I love you. That's cute. And I like these balms right here. Some people, um, if you don't like a lot of oils in your bath, don't get these with this. Um, the top like this either don't get these or scrape that out before you put it in your bath because these are highly moisture her balms are highly moisturizing balms they've got a lot of oil in them especially these and I love that personally but look at that look how cute that is and look look how big that balm is it's ginormous and something else I will have to say about Moon's Harvest if you've never purchased from them um, I have, her balms are sturdy. I have never, ever received a balm from Moon's Harvest that wasn't intact. I have never received one busted up. So, her recipe is a good one. It's a real good one. <laughs> mm. All right, moving on. Let's see here. Now, this is a beautiful balm. And this is a this smells like a little bit of a floral, but I always have a hard time smelling her bombs, so I'm not going to try to describe the scent too much to you for you all because I'm going to fail miserably. And once I get them in the tub, it'll probably be totally different once I get them unwrapped anyway. So okay, next one is Charmed. And this one also has a cocoa butter bath melt. And it's got a little bear. It's kind of hard to see because of the little... Oh, it's really hard to see for you all. There. It's kind of hard to see because right here, this little guy is uh, white and pink. But it's a little bear in the top of this balm. That's really cute. But it's a light green and it's got that pretty sugar frosting around it. I like that. Mm, and this one smells good. It's, um, I don't know. I can't describe it, y'all. I'm, I just, I gotta move along because I can't describe it. <laughs> it smells good, though. Where this is more of a little bit of like a Swedish perfumey, this is more of like a fresh, I don't know, more of like a clean smell. Okay, 
the next one. Ooh, it's pretty. It's called Love You, Hate You. And if, you yeah, see the theme here? This is um, also a cocoa butter bath melt top. Mm. Mm, and I can't really smell this one, but I think what little I can, it kind of smells like it's a floral. So it's a big blue balm. And then it's got that pretty, pretty rose in the top. With the purple yeah that's beautiful I wonder if that right there is a melt or if that's soap it's probably um, a melt but we'll find out okay put that one right there let's see I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of these bombs out of here so that yeah y'all I opened it from the wrong side see look it had the little cute stuff on the other side of it <laughs> oh I think I can give this one out maybe because this says limit one coupon um, per customer not valid with any other coupon so I'm pretty sure this one I can give out oh, I don't know if I can or not mm. I don't I don't want to give it out when I'm not supposed to y'all oh but look this is so cute the top of it, if I'd opened it right, would have had that on top. Look how cute that is with the little heart. Let's put this down here so we can look at it. There we go. Okay. So... Sit them all out here so I don't have to rattle all this paper in y'all's ear. Okay. Let's go ahead, since we're at this point, and look at our samples. Okay. So our first sample here is a whipped body scrub and I've got samples of her body scrubs or her body scrubs in her um, mm, like her whipped lotions before and I've liked them and this one is Bermuda Triangle is the scent and it's a pretty pink oh yeah and if I can remember correctly the whipped Scrubs actually has a soap in it, so it'll foam a little bit whenever you use it. I think I could be mistaken. I've been mistaken before. Okay. Oh, I got a tart. This one is Golden Honey Caramel Apple Candle Tart. So I got a sample of a candle tart. I've never purchased any of her tarts. Um, Where I'm a little bit sensitive to scents, and my mother-in-law is extremely sensitive to scents, and she comes over here from time to time to help me with my boo. I don't usually do a whole lot of tarts upstairs anyway. But here it is, and it smells good. It just looks almost like a bee natural beeswax color. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. You can smell the apple. Oh, and it's, it does have like a sweet, a little bit of a sweet, but there's something else in there. And I can't place it, but it smells good. I'll have to try that sometime. Okay. All right. That's that for the samples. Now, the next thing I got was the 
charms. Here, let me. These are my bath melts right here, y'all. And I think, yeah, yeah. See this one, this charmed bath bomb has like the little bitty bear, the little pink bear that you can't hardly see because of the glare. Well, this bath melt goes with the bomb. And let me say, first and foremost, um, you really don't need a bath melt with Moon's Harvest. You, you just don't because her bombs are awesome and are highly moisturizing on their own. Um, but she also sells bath melts. And look, it's so cute. It's a little bear that's adorable. And here's the back of it. Let's open him here. Sniff him. Oh gosh, y'all, that smells so good. That smells like a tart candy smell. You can't hardly smell them inside this old um, wrap here, but this one I can really get a whiff of. And oh, it's a little tart and a little sweet. This smells awesome. Oh gosh, that smells good. That smells really good. This is gonna have to be my favorite scent so far. So I'm gonna put him right there with his bomb buddy. And this one is called Love Stinks. And it's a heart, a two-toned heart. Look how cute that is. And here's the back of it. And with these bath melts, you don't have to use the whole thing yeah it has it on here you don't have to use the whole thing like her instructions are to add half of it to the water normally with the bath melts I just plop the whole thing in there honestly because I like a lot of oils and stuff in my bath okay let's smell this one This one, this one's a little bit more of a mild floral. It's not really strong, but this, this does smell like a floral to me. It's cute. Okay. We've got four other things here, you all. So this one is called, <laughs> I forgot I ordered this one. <laughs> This one is called Screwed, Blued, and Tattooed. <laughs> um, look at that. So it's a big pink bomb, and it's got some gray in the top, and it looks like there's possibly a rose, um, like a little rosebud stuffed in there. This one has a sweet smell. This is, from what I can smell, this is more of a sweet, almost a pastry-like smell, from what I can tell now. All right, let's put this one down. Oh, goodness. Okay. So next is Dipped in Love. And this is another cocoa um, butter bath melt top. Oh, this one smells sweet as well. Look how cute that is. That's adorable, that little heart. This actually looks like something you'd eat. I think I've had cupcakes before with a similar design on top. <laughs> no, don't fall over. Okay, now. Here is Miss... <clears throat> oh, I see. Miss D V Us. Miss Devious. Miss Devious. There we go, mischievous. Look the way it's broke down though, y'all. Can you see it? Sorry. Misty I like the way she's got it broke down. Okay, so this, of course, is another cocoa butter top. And it's really cute. Look at this bomb though. Look how pretty that is. It's white, but you can see there's like little spots of color all in there and I know it's hard to see this bomb because it's white and there's a lot of glare 
the top with that red that's really pretty and it's got little tiny looks like confetti stars in there oh my god my this phone I swear I'm sorry you all it's, mm. okay I can't really tell this one can't really tell the scent on this one mm, it smells almost a little perfumey okay and last but not least I decided to try something different because I used to I'm sure y'all have heard me a million times on here say where I used to have my own little business and make my own little bath stuff back before I had boo which is that's my baby um, but when I got pregnant with him I just I couldn't do the scents and I just didn't want to I just got out of all of it and I just give it all up um, but one of the things that was kind of my specialty and I made a lot of them and I sold a lot of them were solid lotion bars Ugh, come on and I have never ever um, tried really another company's lotion bar. So I thought I would give it a try. And that's what this is. This is Everybody Loves Chocolate. This is a shower lotion bar. So I think the difference between a regular lotion bar and a shower lotion bar is that you kind of grease yourself up and rinse off the excess in the shower, I believe. Could be wrong. Let's see if she puts instructions. Yep, no, you don't have to rinse this off. Just while you're in there, um, so this is pretty much like your oil or, or anything else. You want to put it on moist skin, and that's just so the oils are easier to spread around and you don't have like a big greasy spot. You can actually spread it out. It's hard to do on dry skin, but there's that. I know this part's hard to read, but it's cute. It's, be mine, I love you. <laughs> you deserve it. Yeah, that's adorable. Let's see here. Let's see how it, how it smells. And it looks like a little chocolate bar. Like it, it's wrapped up like a chocolate bar, which is something that I think is really adorable. Okay. Let's see here, y'all. I'm going to open it up. And that foil wrap on here is beautiful. I'm really liking this. That's really pretty. It also helps that it's in one of my favorite colors. Ah, I was trying not to do that. My goodness. Oh, come on now. Just cooperate with me for one minute. There. Oh, look how pretty it is. Oh, that smells... Oh, that smells wonderful. So it's a pretty white and pink on the back. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. The front is a chocolate color. And look, it's, it's stamped. It's, that's really cute. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and that feels good. Yeah, that feels real good. I don't want to mess up the front right now, so I'm going to mess with the back. Yeah, that, that feels good. It's nice and smooth. And ignore my little red spots there, y'all. I'm... That's just where I've been opening those boxes and my skin's so sensitive, but look at that. A little sheen on there, but oh, that smells good. 
And that's one of the things with the lotion bars as opposed to like the whipped lotions. Um, you got to give them a little bit longer to go into your skin because they don't have a ton of like the starches in them. And that's what makes your like whipped whipped butters um, not so greasy is whatever they add to it like arrowroot or it's just whatever starch it is that they've that they've decided to add. Um, and your lotion bars, I don't know if her lotion bars has any. Sometimes you can put it in there. I never put it in mine. Um, I'd have to look on the ingredients label and see. But that's, that's adorable. That is really cute. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see the ingredients on this one, but... That's okay, because it doesn't really matter. So there it is. There's my Moon's Harvest haul. I know this, Lord, this video is a little bit long for just these few items, but, um, so I'm sorry, you all. Um, so this is it. This is my Moon's Harvest haul. I hope you all like everything. Um, I, I'm really digging this, and this is by far my favorite scent. So, mm, I'll link them down below. Y'all have a good one.